In this video, we'll show you how to build a WordPress website in under 15 minutes. Building a website used to be a difficult task that only experienced web designers and developers could handle. But nowadays, with a modern content management system like WordPress, you can get a website up and running in a matter of minutes with zero coding experience and a quite reasonable budget. WordPress provides a rich library of thousands of themes and plugins you can use, making it super easy to create your site and add different functionalities. And since we're on the clock, let's get started right away. Your first step is to get a hosting account and a domain name registration. These are the only things you need to purchase in order to build a WordPress website. Here at ICD Soft, we've been providing hosting services for over two decades. All of our hosting plans are fully compatible with WordPress and have features explicitly optimized for WordPress providing maximum security and performance. In addition, the WordPress manager in the hosting control panel offers many functionalities such as one-click installation, staging, backup and restore, user management, updates and free SSL certificates with easy WordPress HTTPS integration. To get your WordPress hosting plan, go to icdsoft.com, select WordPress hosting. Our most popular plans, economy and business should meet the needs of most website projects. Know that you have the option to have WordPress installed on your account as part of the order. Once you complete your order, you will receive your welcome email. It will contain your account details and information for logging into the hosting account control panel, its URL and your login credentials. And if you've opted to have WordPress installed as part of the order process, the welcome email will also contain the login details for your WordPress dashboard. I'll just click on the control panel link and enter the username and password from the welcome email. So now that we have logged in, you can see the WordPress manager that we mentioned in the beginning. In case you don't have WordPress installed on your account, you can use the WordPress manager to install it for you. Go to the install menu, enter your details and let the magic happen. But since we've opted to have WordPress installed as part of our order, I can just go to the manage section and you can see our WordPress installation for domainnameexample.com. Press the manage button and you can see the features that this tool provides. You can use the site URL section to move this entire installation from one folder or subdomain to another or create a staging instance. You can create a backup or restore from an existing one. You can enable server site caching, apply WordPress optimizations, you can also use the security features, activate a free SL certificate for your site, protect your WordPress dashboard with an additional login, and harden the WordPress installation against hacking attempts with the secure content directories option. Let's scroll up to the WordPress administrator section and use the automated login to directly enter the WordPress dashboard. That's where you can start building your actual website. Actually, if you look at your website right now, visit site, you should already have a site using the default WordPress 2024 theme. What we'll like to do is change the look of our site and that's done by installing a new theme. Go back to the WordPress dashboard, appearance menu, themes, and let's install a new theme. Click on the add new theme button and you'll see that there are thousands of themes you can choose from. All you need to do is pick one, press the install button and then activate. And your website should turn into the demo that's showcased in the description of that theme. You can see there is a preview button that shows just how your site would look if you install the theme. The one we'll use in our example here is called Astra. It's really well put together, has a nice modern design, and you can use it to create just about any website you can think of. Let's install it, make sure to activate it at the end. You can see we're now greeted with this thanks for installing the Astra theme sign and we're prompted to install Astra's starter templates. With Astra starter templates, you can easily import ready-made designs and start building your dream website in just a few minutes. We're basically importing an entire website and all you have to do is just change the text and images. Of course, you can add as many pages as you want and they'll use the styling of the entire site, but we'll get to that in a minute. So let's install the starter templates. I'll go with the classic starter templates and I'll select Elementor as the actual page builder. And now you can see this list of really good looking teams. So you just need to choose the one that matches your project and what you're looking to create. The ones labeled premium are paid, but there are plenty of free themes available. Let's say I'd like to build a company website. Change the business category to agency, and I'll go with this digital agency template. You can upload your logo on the first step. On the second step, you can completely change the color scheme of your site and the actual font. And now we can submit and build our site. Allow some time for the import to complete, and there you have it. Let's check out our website right now. You can see it looks just like in the demo. All what's left for you is to modify the actual content, perhaps create a page or two, but the main thing, the actual layout and structure of the site is there. 
we have a modern transparent menu, a nice looking homepage with different sections, and the other pages that are essential for a company website. Services that would tell more about the services your company offers, about which would contain background information about your company, and a standard contact page with a ready-made contact form and a Google map. So we have the main pages created for us. Now let's see how you can edit the site. Since we selected Elementor as our page builder, click on the Edit with Elementor button on top. What you're seeing here is the Elementor interface. Elementor is a drag and drop editor and every page contains different sections also known as containers. Inside those containers are different elements which you can edit. For example, take a look at the navigator on the right side. In case you're not seeing it, just right click anywhere on the page and select navigator. Now that we have the navigator opened, it shows you a list of all the containers that exist on this page. Let's expand the second one and you can see it as a heading which is our actual title here, Digital Agency That Thrives On Your Success. If you want to edit it, just enter your title under the title box on the left side or you can directly enter it in the container. And that's how you modify this heading element. Notice that you also have a style tab and this is where you can change the text color and if you click on the typography, this is where you can change the font, the size, the style and everything else. The advanced menu is where you can change the layout. Going down the list, you can see this container also has a text editor, which has this text. You can easily modify it. Again, you can change its style and layout. If you want to change the background image, click on these six dots, the edit container icon, switch to the style tab, and this is where you can apply another image for the background via the choose image button which would load your WordPress media library, allowing you to upload a new image or use an existing one. A very useful thing you should know is that you can move around any element on your page. You just need to select it and then just drag it and drop it to the new location. You could also use the navigator for that purpose. It allows you to drag and drop elements as well. If you want to add a new element anywhere on your page, you should click on the waffle menu at the upper left corner, this nine dot array, and it will show you a list of all the various elements you could add. Some of them are paid and they are part of the Elementor Pro version. Also, if you install plugins on your site, they might appear as different widgets on that list. Let's say I want to add a button. Just drag it and drop it anywhere you want on your page. If you want to remove it, hover over it and right click on the pencil icon right here and click delete. Of course, you can add new containers and that's done simply by clicking on the plus sign, add container. Click on the plus sign again, add new container and you can choose from a list of different structures with different number of columns and rows. Say I want to use a basic two column structure. Notice that I can easily change the size of each column just by dragging it side, left or right. Inside those columns, we can add different elements. Click on the nine dot menu on the left side to load up the elements. Let's drag and drop an image, choose image, select one from our media library. Again, click on the waffle menu, drag and drop a heading. We can also drag and drop a text editor underneath. You can resize the columns and Elementor is responsive and it will also adjust the size of the actual elements inside. You can delete the entire container by pressing on the X button on top of it. The great thing about Elementor and WordPress in general is that your website would be mobile friendly by default. However, there are still some minor adjustments that you'd probably have to make to ensure that everything loads correctly when visitors are accessing your site on a smartphone or tablet. To do that, click on the responsive mode at the lower left corner right here. And you can see that a new toolbar appeared on top, allowing us to switch between desktop, tablet and mobile. So you can use that function to preview how your site will look across different devices with different screens and make adjustments accordingly. What's important to note here is that the changes that you apply on mobile will not translate over to the other versions. You could also hide elements or entire containers depending on the screen size. For example, select this image, go to the advanced tab, expand the responsive menu, and you can use the options to hide it on desktop, tablet or mobile. When you're done with that, press the X button at the upper right corner to get out of the responsive mode. If you want to undo something, let's say I enter this text here, you could use the Ctrl and Z combination on your keyboard if you're on Windows, 
Mac users can use Command Z or you can click on the history icon at the lower left corner and it contains all the changes you've applied during your current session and you can click on a given one and it will revert the page to that state. You could also copy and paste entire containers or elements. For example, if you want to copy an entire container, you can right click on its six dot menu and select copy or you could just use duplicate and then drag and drop the duplicated copy to another location. To get back to the WordPress dashboard, click on the burger menu at the upper left corner and press exit. You can select what happens every time you exit out of Elementor and I usually like to go to the WordPress dashboard so I'll apply that. Now that we're back at the WordPress dashboard, let's do a quick walkthrough. The posts menu is where you can find your blog posts. You can see the existing ones via the old post menu or add a new one. The media menu is your WordPress media library containing all the images that have been added to your website. You could also add audio and video files, documents, spreadsheets, etc. Pages is where you can find your actual website pages. You can see we have an about page, a contact page, the home page we just edited and a services page. These pages were created as part of our starter template import while the sample page and privacy policy page come with WordPress by default. You can hover over a page and click on Edit with Elementor to edit it with the Elementor Builder. The Plugins menu is where you can see a list of your installed plugins or add a new one. Keep in mind that having too many plugins could slow down your website, so you should try to keep their number as low as possible and only keep those that you really need. Another important menu is Settings. Under General is where you can set your site title and tagline. The permalinks menu is where you can change the permalink structure of your website. That's basically the way the URLs of your different pages and posts are constructed. In terms of SEO, it's really important to use something that would help search engines and visitors understand what your content is about. So I would recommend using the post name option. And if you're running a news website or a magazine, you could apply the month and name or day and name options. Lastly, if you want to change your website menu, that's done via appearance menus. This is our default menu. You can add new items to it from the left side. You can add new pages to it. These are the most recent ones, but you can switch to view all. For example, we can add the sample page and you can see that it appeared as the last item on our menu. Let's save it and visit our site. Make sure to refresh the page and you can see that our sample page just appeared on our menu. You can change its position via drag and drop. You could also make it a sub item so that will create an entire drop down menu. If you want to change the appearance of the menu, you should go to customize. Note that this is where you can edit not just the menu but a lot of other things on your site including your entire header section, footer, site identity, homepage settings, etc. And that pretty much wraps up our tutorial. We've created a good looking company website using WordPress in just 15 minutes. All that's left for you to do is apply your text and images and you have a professionally made website that looks great on all devices. For a more detailed tutorial on building a website with WordPress and Elementor, check out our video on how to build a hosting company website and of course you could use it as a guideline on creating just about any type of website you can think of. Keep in mind that the journey doesn't end here. To ensure the security and optimal performance of your website, it's crucial to keep your WordPress installation up to date. A very easy and convenient way of doing that is to add your installation to our WordPress multi-manager and set it to receive email notifications whenever there are available updates. Once you receive a notification about some available updates, you can easily apply them directly via the WordPress multi-manager or from your WordPress dashboard. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your new WordPress website.